I haven't drank just normal, regular water in over 40 years. You know, my water is living water from living plants. Water. It's structured water, H3O. So I see the big difference. So at 76, no aches, no pains. You know, I climb coconut trees still. Can you imagine going nearly 50 years without falling sick? Prepare to be amazed because that's exactly what Aris Latham, the pioneer of ethical raw food cuisine, has achieved. This remarkable 76-year-old, often mistaken for someone in his 50s, lives a life many of us could only dream of. And get this, he hasn't had a single cup of water in over four decades. What's his secret to longevity and health? Join us on a fascinating journey as we explore the extraordinary life of Aris Latham. Death cannot bring forth life. <laughs> and that's why we call this living food. Living food for living people. We'll dive into his unique raw food lifestyle and uncover the secrets that have kept him vibrant and disease free for over half his life. Get ready to be inspired. As we know it, the water that we're talking about and everybody talks about is empty, it's blank, and it hydrates. That's good. But my water needs to do a whole lot more, more than that. So I reach for higher heights, you know, I reach for higher heights. This, this is my water source right here. Coconut water, living water straight from life, straight from nature. So this water has more electrolytes than anything else on the planet. It hydrates, it has potassium, it has loads of minerals. Of course, it has 10% sugar, all the sugar my body needs. So I use it in the morning. This is the first thing my inner shower with coconut water. Take a little noni juice, or you know, it that is up in sour sop, and that's it. But I do drink water, but it has to come from a plant. For the past 47 years now, I've not eaten cooked food as you know it. Yes, all sun-fired foods, foods that are cooked by the sun. Because I know that the three essential foods in life are sunshine, oxygen, and living water. And I am to extract those from the plants. So don't tell me about plant-based either. Come on now, I am a linguist. When I heard here plant-based food, what the heck is on the base? If plant is the base, what did you lace it with? Some frog doo-doo, some nanoparticles, some GMO, some chemicals, or whatever, whatever. And please, don't try to take me beyond meat either. We came before meat. We are before meat, and we, are, we never settle for meat as you as reserved that word meat for animal flesh. We, we're not into that. The original meaning of the word meat is food. Check your dictionary. Aris Latham's raw food journey began in the streets of New York about 1965. It was there that he realized how destructive our bodies can be. You know, we want to go back to the land. We want to go organic. We want natural foods. We, you know, it's about love. And love begins at home. Love thyself. So with my, my posse, we, we're talking about, you know, health revolution, food revolution, because I'm like, I'm like lost in this concrete jungle, you know, coming out of the bush. And I knew it, it, that was it. You know, it was the food. There was no question. I ended up eating foods that were weaponized. This food is a weapon that I got introduced to. So I had to pull myself up out of it. This prompted a move to a vegetarian diet. He rapidly became vegan and then switched to a raw food diet. My library, I had a library of over 15,000 books. I bought every book I could find on vegetarianism. Of course, everything on raw food that I could find. And, you know, I'm, and I'm talking 15,000 conscious books. No joke, no lie, no stories, no fiction. You know, all self-help, yoga, tai chi, massage, meditation, astrology. You know, I must, you know, I got way into it because something resonated with me with this life, you know. So, uh, so yeah, so it came down to, to, for me at that point, being influenced by all these, from all these different angles, all the old books, raw food books. We're talking uh, Hilton Hotema. You know, uh, uh, what's his name? Richter, Dr. Richter and his wife. They had a raw food restaurant in LA, in Hollywood in the 50s. This, what we're doing today, what's been going on in this raw food circus, it's a joke, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's a joke, you know, I got the real foundation. 
What are raw foods? A food is considered raw if it has never been heated over 40 to 48 degrees Celsius. It should also not be refined, pasteurized, treated with pesticides, or otherwise processed in any way. Instead, the diet makes for many different ways of preparing, such as juicing, blending, dehydrating, soaking, and sprouting. The raw food diet is typically plant-based, consisting mainly of fruit, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. The originator of sun-fired cuisine, Aris Latham, firmly believes in consuming food naturally grown from the earth and baked with natural sunlight. His commitment to the raw food diet has spanned over 53 years, demonstrating his persistent dedication to this distinct method of eating. According to Aris Latham, food doesn't need to be cooked because it is cooked by the sun or sun-fired. The idea behind sun-fired foods is a direct transfer of solar energy through the plants to us. It is from this school of thought that sun-fired foods were born. There's nothing on about this. Why should we use the negative to, ex to express such a positive creation mm. so i added an s to unfired i put yeah i put the s back on my chest <laughs> <laughs> some fired foods cooked by genius. the sun the growing period is the cooking process and it's very slow very exact very meticulous you could tell when the pot is ready the birds the bees the bats and the butterflies, they come home to feast. So we need to line up, get in line behind them. They got it going on. So I cook food, cook to <laughs> perfection. So sunshine, our number one nutrient. When we're eating oh, yes. apples and peaches and pears and nectarines and bananas and lettuce and cucumber and all of these things, we're looking to extract the sun from the food. What sets Aris Latham's approach to his meals apart is his no-stove, no-microwave lifestyle. According to Ari, it is during the growing period when the food undergoes the cooking process, and we have all kinds of plant food available to us, filled with optimum nutrition from the sun. We do not believe in charring, burning, grilling, or roasting our foods. Fire is a destroyer of life. Everything dies after a certain level of heat. Ari believes the cooking heat depletes vitamins, damages proteins and fats, and destroys enzymes that benefit fit digestion. As one's percentage of raw food increases, you feel satisfied and have more energy on smaller meals because raw food has the best balance of water, nutrients, and fiber to meet the body's needs. The foods that have kept him sickness-free consist of smoothies, fruit juice, vegetables, herbs, nuts, and lots of fruits. Aris Latham is known as the man who does not drink water and has not had a drop of tap or distilled water in more than 40 years. He drinks coconut water and water from plants, including watermelon, orange water, and water crests grown by the water. Cooking without a stove sounds unbelievable, but Aris has been doing so for years. For example, while preparing a pie, he creates a unique pie crust by dehydrating it to achieve a crunchy texture and filling it with fresh sliced fruit, resulting in a delicious and healthy treat. A typical morning in his life starts with what he calls an internal shower, which is lots of coconut water, shots of lemon juice, aloe vera juice, and mint leaf juice, something strong to wake up his cells. So what the, the lime is now is the soap for the internal cleanser. Highlighting the benefits of raw food consumption, Ari Latham says eating a diet of raw foods can reverse or stop the advance of many chronic diseases, including heart disease and cancer. Cooking creates free radicals, which are the major cause of cancer. When you lower the number of free radicals your cells are bombarded with, you lower your risk of cancer. He added that a raw food diet could also protect you from acute diseases such as colds and flu and help you maintain a healthy body with better defenses to prevent the intrusion of disease. Sharing some tips on how to get the most out of a raw food diet, he advises that it's best to choose a variety of raw food diets, as consuming a variety of raw foods can help ensure that you get all the essential nutrients. Another tip is to ensure they are fermented foods, such as sauerkraut and kimchi, which is an excellent source of beneficial bacteria and probiotics. These foods can help improve digestive health and balance the gut microbiota. Eating healthy fats is also a must. Healthy fats such as avocados, nuts, and seeds can help keep you full and provide essential fatty acids. The most important tip he shares was monitoring one's energy levels. According to him, if you find that you are feeling sluggish or fatigued, it is best to consider adding more healthy fats and proteins to your diet. Aris Latham, who holds a PhD in food science, has trained thousands of chefs in the principles of harmonic, healthy, and ethical food. Having accumulated extensive knowledge of plants, herbs, nutrition, diet, 
mindfulness, and well-being. His memorable catchphrase is, it's not the food in your life, but the life in your food. It is not the food in your life, but the life in your food that actually nourishes. It is evident by his glowing presence and trim physique. He advocates a food revolution, going beyond what most people dare to explore regarding food choices and emphasizing the importance of spreading this message far and wide. Aris Latham does not follow a strict workout regimen, but at 76, he claims to be healthy and active, admitting his strength matches that of younger individuals. An hour-long workout begins after he gets out of bed. His workout consists of running or walking around his 700-acre farm harvesting fruits from the 7,000 coconut trees and 100 varieties of fruit trees growing there. A video posted online of him climbing a tree to retrieve a coconut went viral, clocking up millions of views, which he found quite amusing. Aris emphasizes the importance of quality rest. He has some advice for older folks who want to take control of their health and body. He says, My philosophy is about looking at a daily cycle, the 24 hours the human body goes through. Sleeping for 8 hours means we are fasting, which shuts the whole digestive system down so the body can do repair work by breaking down old cells and building new cells. Explaining further, he says, the first eight hours of his day is the breaking of the fast period, not breakfast, to draw out impurities. At night, we have eight hours to empty the waste bin. What we do is supposed to facilitate that elimination, avoid foods that tax the digestive system. Instead, feed the body electrical foods, basically fruits, which comprise moisture and fiber. We prepare the body for the third phase of our day, refueling with building materials. From 12 noon to 8 p.m., the body goes into the, the building mode. So we're going to put in the building materials. That's when you want to put in your, your rich, heavy food, your protein and your starches. So when that's a protein, we're talking uh, things with fat, like ackee, coconut, pear, and these types of things. When we're talking plant protein particularly, and other nuts and seeds and then the starches, the grains, the beans, and the roots. So we, we've gathered some roots here, and we have juiced the roots to show you if you must mess with roots, then you should juice it. When he is not creating recipes, he devotes a lot of energy to passing on his wisdom. His website, sunfired.com, is bursting with color and recipes brimming with flavor. His own Sunfired Culinary Institute offers retreats, nature expeditions, and cooking courses. He also holds workshops for the local youth on the importance of a healthy diet and employment. His Sunfired Gourmet has been featured in multiple publications and magazines, and he has designed vibrant Sunfired Gourmet experiences for an extensive list of celebrity clients and international dignitaries. Sunfired Cuisine delicacies have been catered to numerous celebrities and dignitaries, including former U.S. Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, Barbara Streisand, Dennis Weaver, Dick Gregory, Dexter King, Marilyn and Harvey Diamond, Erica Badu, Tony Rebel, and Demi Moore. Aris Latham was voted one of the top vegetarian chefs in the USA by Vegetarian Times Magazine. He has been featured in Essence, Jamaican Eats, Vegetarian Gourmet, HealthQuest, Upscale, UK's Balance, and Japan's Tarzan Fitness Magazines, and the list goes on. Aris Latham has been sought after to present and cater to organizations such as the United States Congress, Agape Ministry, National Medical Association Convention, Washington, D.C. Commission of Public Health, Washington Hospital Cancer Institute, United Nations AIDS, UN AIDS, National Institute of Health, Green Festival, Ohio Mental Health Commission, Half Moon Resort, Montego Bay, Jamaica, The Discovery Channel, Raw Spirit Festival, Panama Breast Cancer Awareness, Autobahn Society, Earth Day, Total Expo Health Canada, New Life Expo San Diego, World Beat Center, Center, National Health Federation Convention, Whole Life Expo, and Cancer Control Society.